Hi, I'm the fuel guy with PFS. You know, we're asked all the time about when should I blend my diesel fuel or how much blend should I use? Well, the answer to that question is simple and complicated. Now, here's the simple part. At PFS, we use what we call the 1515 method. And that means this, that if you are using a winter number two diesel fuel with either of our Arctic Plus or Arctic Extreme complete winter formulas, you are generally safe to run to about minus 15 below Fahrenheit. Now, when the temperatures drop below minus 15, we recommend a 15% blend of number one, and for every five degrees below that, an additional 15%, with a total of about 45 to 50% maximum, no matter what. Now, that's the simple part, but stay tuned because you're going to need some important information to make sure you can keep running this winter. And for those of you in the student or public transportation, listen up. It is vital to completely understand these things. First off, winter diesel fuel is different than summer, and it is generally available at the pump from November through April. Now keep in mind that winter number two is different and designed to run in the cold. If you purchase your fuel during the summer months, then all bets are off. So come on guys, don't do it. Now, those of you with bulk tanks, it is vital that you purchase your fuel for the season in which you will be using it. Don't buy it in the summertime and expect to run it in the winter. Let's see the results of our anti-gel on number two and the results of a blend. You can see in these cold filter plug point test results that number two diesel fuel with PFS anti-gels are generally tested to around a minus 30 below Fahrenheit. This would work great if all the circumstances are perfect. And for those of you whose lives are perfect, you can avoid this next section. For the rest of you, remember, there are so many variables. We can't possibly trust that everything is gonna be right. Of course, you know the PFS sells anti-gels, right? But did you know that our number one goal is to keep you running? And there's many other factors that play a role in that far beyond the fuel. Please check out our clinic on understanding winter diesel fuel. This will give you some detailed information on this subject and some other factors that you may not even have thought of. Now, one of the most overlooked winter problems in diesel fuel is viscosity. Another one is how tight is the filter tolerances you have and how dirty is your filter. These factors can make a huge difference. Are you going to run this winter or not? Filters have had so many changes. They're much more restrictive and they've had to be to protect these new high pressure injection systems. And these super tight tolerances can lead to failure due to the fuel's viscosity or the fuel's thickness. Now, remember, diesel fuel is an oil and when it gets cold, it becomes thick and it becomes hard to pump. Now, Number one, diesel is thinner than number two, and when it gets cold, it flows much easier. So we need number one fuel just to keep your fuel thin when temperatures dip below the minus 15 mark. You can let the PFS anti-gels handle the wax, but remember, no anti-gel affects viscosity. I don't care what the additive says, they just don't. So keep in mind that there are several drawbacks to using number one which we're not gonna go into here, but use it when absolutely necessary. It beats walking, right? Now, number one diesel also has less wax than number two. This can be helpful at reducing filter gelling, especially if you're using a poor quality anti-gel. But with PFS, that's just something you don't need to worry about. So, what is causing my engine to lose power or even shut down? Well, many times, a diesel fuel will fail in the cold and you will think that it is gelled, but it may simply be that the fuel is too thick or too viscous to pump enough fuel through the system and through the filter to keep you running. The engine is simply starved for fuel. This is the same effect that you get with gel or an iced filter. The way to tell the difference is to examine the filter element. If it has wax, it'll be on it. If it has ice, it'll be on it. If it's a viscosity failure, however, the filter will either be empty or partially filled with the filter element still clear. 
Icina filter is due to water in your system that gets agitated. The water then freezes into tiny droplets and these frozen crystals plug the fuel filter just like gel. But it looks completely different than a gel filter. Ice filter elements, however, when they're warmed, they will melt off. Gel filter elements, however, will not. They will remain gelled even as the element is warmed. Let's talk about winter diesel terminology. This is really important. The words used to describe winter fuel. Now, winterized number two diesel fuel is manufactured at the refinery for winter use. This is also referred to as a winter blend. However, it is not a blend of number one and number two. And many think people think it is and get confused over the terminology because the word blend is in the name, winter blend. And that indicates that a number one fuel has been added to it. That, however, would only be the case if the pump you're purchasing it at tells you there's a certain percentage of number one added to it. Do not think that your supplier is selling you an actual blended fuel just because he's selling winter blend. It's easy to get confused and purchase fuel for a little less money from one station that's selling winter blend than someone who is selling an actual blended fuel across the street. Thinking they're the same, could be deadly. Oh, and one more thing, this really happens. Don't be fooled by the stations that have a sign on the pump telling you all the virtues of a good additive, giving off the impression that that pump actually contains such an additive. Many times if you read the fine print on the sign, it will tell you that you, if you want to get a good additive, you have to see the counter people inside. You know, we need to be wise, educated consumers especially when it comes to protecting ourselves and our passengers in the cold. Believe me, if you were in the business of public transportation and you get stuck out in the cold, it makes for great news headlines. And they're not going to talk about where you bought your fuel. They're not going to talk about the poor quality additive you had. They're going to talk about you. Now, one more thing. When an anti-gel is added to number two fuel, it still remains number two fuel and the viscosity of number two fuel remains. It does not magically become a 50-50 blend. Although it may not gel till a much colder temperature, it's still a number two diesel fuel. Many times anti-gels will tell you that using their additive with a number two fuel is equal to a 50-50 blend. This just isn't the case. It may run to an equivalent temperature or even colder as far as cold filter plug point or actual running, but it still has the viscosity and the problems of viscosity failure because it's not a 50-50 blend. PFS anti-gels and number two fuel will outperform a 50-50 blend in 90% of the time. But as you can see on the chart, again, looking at the refinery number three, the 50-50 blend is actually slightly better than the number two with anti-gel. This indicates a viscosity failure at minus 28. So a final thought. Did you know that doubling the amount of PFS anti-gel will not make your fuel run to any colder temperature? At its regular treat rate, it has already reached the maximum temperature reduction you can get with any anti-gel. You can add any competition on it, it will not get any better. I know a lot of this is complicated, but I also know that information, knowledge, and common sense are the keys to a trouble-free winter. So please, take the time to check out our other clinics thoroughly. Learn how to treat your fuel right. So please, would you like? Tell a friend. And for a copy of our Winter Blend newsletter and other great information, subscribe. Together, we can change the way you treat your fuel.